Alright guys, welcome back. So this is our DTI update, Vigetti. So on Wednesday, the stock was down 45% and closed at 10 bucks. So what I'm watching from here now, so what are we were watching if you are new to the channel? Well, we started talking about this one December 7th, pump and dump. December 30th, quantum hype. And then December, oh, January 2nd, we have seen this before. And then January 3rd, um, back to single digits. And then one day before, January 7th, complacency. And I brought up this chart to you guys saying, at what stage do you guys think we are? Uh, on the way up, you have an optimism where, yeah, this rally is great. Uh, belief, time to get fully invested. Thrill, I will buy more on margin, you gotta tell everybody to buy. Euphoria, I'm a genius, we're all going to be rich. And by looking at uh, option activity where stock pretty much stalled out on top where it couldn't get pushed higher. And that day, the last time I looks like traded this name, that day was between Thursday and uh, the Friday. And that contract is still probably there. Let me show you our GTI. $10 call. There you go. There you go. This guy spent almost 20 something million dollars and barely he, he, he got saved right here. And very next morning, he dumps all of these. These are big guys, okay? Nobody has 20 million. Uh, laying around to trade a weekly one week expiration day contract uh, where they come in last two hours of the market to pump the stock and then the very next day to dump it and I have seen this before I have made a video about this one I talked about this one in one of those videos okay and that was the sign of a top in two three other instances with a similar capitalization stocks and that is a footprint of uh, hedge funds that trade small caps, okay? And this is not the first time they have done it, so I have seen it. And that was a sign of a top for me. And then very, very same day when they started selling, I pretty much hopped on their, on their back and just ride it for 200% and it got out basically with the puts, okay? So, and then I make this video right here saying, okay, so this rally can't get going. I think we're in a complacency um, stage of an emotional cycle of the stock. So in small caps, this shit happens very, very often and very, very soon. It happens with bigger names too. Go take a look at ARK Invest. Go take a look at Zoom. If you want to take a look at large cap stocks, how does it happen? Go take a look at Moderna. Okay. Complacency. We just need to cool off for the next rally. That was the stage set. And then we just straight dumped again. A lot of people saying that uh, uh, NVIDIA is the, uh, he, they're blaming the guy. But that move was coming regardless of him. It was just a matter of four or five trading sessions. Okay. Um, and then you have anxiety. Why am I getting margin called? This is, this is taking longer. I think we're in a denial stage now, uh, which is my investments are great companies. They will come back. So we're, you're going to see stock pretty much stall out, maybe chop around, maybe do a little bit of a, an uptick to the upside. And as soon as that rally or a little bit of a relief bounce fails, you will go through the stages of a panic and capitulation where everybody is selling. I need to get out. Uh, capitulation, I can't afford to lose more. I'm 100% out. Um, so far, I think we're not in a capitulation stage because there are still many people drinking hopium, which means, yeah, it's going to come back. It is, it, see, this, these are emotions. Charts represent your emotions baked into them. Some people know how to read them. Some people don't. Some people just look, just trade based off whatever is comfortable for them. Just they 
like a lot of I know I used to trade penny stocks back in 2017 18 a lot of small cap traders they don't bother to touch anything large cap they they only trade small caps and they're very good at uh, trading these setups were without knowing that this is the cycle I mean some people may know that they're trading this cycle uh, emotion market cycle but what's now from here well I was going since I trade <clears throat> options <clears throat> I was going through the option activity anytime I see anything like this I mean I keep taking screenshots of the flows because I don't want to go back to uh, the um, demo and just pull back the old data sometimes they don't show me full data so I, I would rather just take a screenshot of the flows so one day before it dumped this was the situation with the put to call ratio which means okay it's not bullish it's not bearish uh, but it, at least a lot of people were selling calls put to call ratio was pretty much about the same 10k short on the put side but on put side there were people selling maybe far outside of the money puts thinking that okay so it's in a premium burning mode and those guys get got their asses handed on them uh, to them as well on that look at the implied volatility as well it was high which means market was already expecting some sort of a big move uh, going into the January uh, 17th and then <clears throat> now <clears throat> if we take a look at the I cannot see the option stat here but this is today's off but look at the IV 400% for tomorrow 270% for next week 237 uh, for January 24th so implied volatility has gone crazy hence why look at this option activity now uh, for the for the stock so if you are somebody who's thinking like they're clever and they're trying to buy if you're trying to buy naked puts or even naked calls you're gonna get smoked uh, on this IV crush uh, I think because anytime I see anything like this I mean I'm not I might day trade it okay that's fine uh, but I'm not gonna swing trade this much of an IV because stock has fallen 40% 45% in a single day how high do you think IV is gonna go even this stock if even if this stock moves down but if it moves down slower this IV will keep crushing and your puts will not appreciate look at these puts 15 call 15 put for February the size of these call I mean this is very very unusual for the stock of the this kind of stock smaller cap stock but since there's a lot of attention there you go smart money your market makers um, going bananas uh, by buying and selling these contracts uh, look at these February 6 750 two thousands of contract like condition spread implied volatility 192 percent look at these for January 9th these could be definitely sells somebody uh, look at the IV 400% uh, somebody could have just sold which is going to expire tomorrow uh, 950 put for tomorrow for dollar 22 thousands tens of thousands of orders thinking that okay this stock will chop around now it's not gonna do much and the hint was also on the chart as well where if you take a look at the volume volume was declining already okay which meant okay this these rallies are getting weaker and weaker and then this day okay yeah uh, almost like a panic selling after opening but we're not at that stage so what I'm watching from here now well that day's low which was almost nine bucks that's the level I would be watching and can it come down to 50 day moving average or maybe even 200 day moving average absolutely uh, I have given an example of Soundhound but may not look like exactly the same but it will look like something like this it's not gonna make it easy for you it will be something like this okay from there now volume will slowly disappear on that stock and again these videos are purely for entertainment purposes only. We will be coming back and looking at the stock 
um, maybe once in a while during a week. But this is what I'm watching for. So I think it will chop for a few days. And even though when it goes down now, it's going to be choppy move down. One day up, one day down, one day up, one day down. And it's going to be looking something like this. And I think Rigetti can be trading somewhere around closer to its 200 day moving average at some point. If I'm wrong, no problem. I'm not betting on that. But I have seen it, and I do think that um, at some point it's going to trading. It's going to be trading at around four dollars uh, in the next two months or so. But again, these videos are purely for entertainment purposes only. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the links below. See you in the next one. Peace.